Hello, I'm Steve Jozowski with York Repair. Today we're going to talk about seating the brushes on a DC motor. One of the main things that we're going to be concerned with when we're seating the brushes on a DC motor is we want to use a sandpaper material rather than an emery cloth. An emery cloth, the abrasive in the emery is a metal. The metal can get caught into the face of the brush and ride on the commutator and damage our commutator. Now the reason that we're going to be seating the brush on a DC motor is even if we buy the brushes from the original uh, manufacturer, the, every, time this, every time the motor comes in, to, in for repair, it's very possible that the commutator is going to be turned if there's any damage to the commutator, which is going to change the outside diameter of the commutator. So what we're going to need to do is to seat those brushes, and the reason we're going to seat them is that way the brush itself is going to be to the contour of the commutator, so that way we get full brush contact to the commutator. Now let's go take a look. First thing we need to do is to cut the sandpaper. We're going to cut the sandpaper so it's the width of the commutator itself. So we're going to go ahead and cut the sandpaper into strips and with a little bit of a uh, little bit of tape we're going to go ahead and attach one piece to the other like a flap so that way as it comes around it's just going to follow the contour of the brush then we've got our brush itself this particular one is a split brush this is the brush that uh, belongs in this particular motor so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the sandpaper with this, uh, this procedure works with the motor uncoupled and we're going to grab the shaft, rotate it around and you can see that the one sandpaper overlaps the other one and we're going to go ahead and install the brushes. When you're removing brushes to check them and putting them back in, make sure you always keep your shunt into the same area. This particular one uses two brushes. Now the brushes are installed. We're gonna rotate, rotate the shaft so that the sandpaper always flaps down. We're going to use approximately a 120 grit. And we're going to pull the brush out. Look at the face of the brush. You can see where it's changed color. So right now we've got this, this particular area is seated. This particular area isn't. So we're going to put the brush back in the same way we took it out. And rotate it around again. We're going to continue this until we get about 90% contact minimum.